Hello, and welcome to my class. As you can see, nobody is here. However, my class is full of students. How? Is that you say? Well, it's easy. I am teaching an online class. My online class does not need set hours, a classroom, or even a campus. My classroom is actually on the internet. You can take the course from home, work, or any location that has an internet connection so you can read the assignments and turn in your work for me to grade. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, it is great. However, with the freedom and flexibility of an online class comes great responsibility as well as some situational awareness. You see, during the class I may ask you to research websites and chat with other students using a variety of tools including Facebook, Skype, and email. May I come in please? Hello Robert, you certainly may. Robert is an expert in online security. I have asked Robert to come in and assist me this video to show you how to be safe around the internet. An internet criminal can steal your identity, your credit cards, and a lot more. Right, Robert? That is absolutely right. The internet can be a lot of fun, but it can be a very dangerous place if you don't know some of the basic rules of the internet. Let's discuss some of the very basic rules of the internet. By following these simple rules, you will be much safer on the internet. Rule 1. Never ever use your credit card on a computer that is not yours. Especially a school computer. If the computer has a virus or a tracking program, your credit card information may be stolen. Rule 2. Do not ever share any personal information online with somebody that you do not know. This is the most important rule. Don't post your picture, location, phone number, or any other information that could be traced back to you. There are a lot of people on the internet that mean you harm. That is a very good point, Robert. People imitate other people in chat rooms all of the time. Sometimes they pretend to be younger, older, male or female, anything to gain your trust. That's right. And by sharing personal information, you may wind up with an unwanted visitor on your doorstep or worse. Rule 3. Do not answer any emails or click on any links within an email unless you know the recipient. Many times, criminals called spammers or fishers, send millions of emails per hour hoping somebody just like you will answer their email or click their links. Take my word, there is no Saudi king looking to give you millions. You did not win the UK lottery. Your long lost cousin does not need an emergency operation. And your mother certainly would have told you if your father was sick. That is so true, oh my. Look who is at the door. Angela, what are you doing here? Please come in. Professor, this is Angela, my girlfriend. I don't know what to do. I made an online purchase at the library for some books. An hour later the bank was calling me to say that I was overdrawn by $5,000. I don't know how this could have happened. Nobody was anywhere near me when I made the purchase. It sounds like a hacker got into your bank account by using the library computer. I could not agree more. Most likely the hacker put a virus on the library computer and stole your information, Angela. You will have to go to call the library and let them know. Many times an expert in computer hacking can trace the attack and they will be caught. This is the exact thing we are talking about, Robert. Computer fraud can happen to anybody at any time. Remember to take the steps we told you and this will not happen to you. Do not use a public computer to enter credit card information. Do not give out any personal information for any reason to somebody online you do not know. And do not click on an email link or go to a website that an email tells you to if you are not familiar with the site.